Okay, the Tony Award winning musical Cabaret is back in Milwaukee. If you've never seen it or if you just love all the memorable Broadway songs in it, you've got to check out this popular show and do it quickly. It is only in town now through Sunday. Great music there. The setting is a nightclub in Germany before World War II. Every club needs a host. So joining us now is actor Randy Harrison, who plays the club's MC, Sally Bowles. Cabaret opened last night at the Marcus Center, and we're excited to have you here on the Yellow Couch. Thank Good you to have you. Thank you for having me. It's How was opening to be here. night? It was amazing last night. It was, was an it? amazing crowd. Yeah. yeah. Great. It's smart, great audiences that's, here, which that's is really awesome. nice. Did you guys get a standing ovation at the end? We did. Yay! We did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's home for you? Uh, New York. You're Brooklyn. from New York. I've been there since 2000. Mm -hmm. So okay. I've been there a while. I'm up and down the East Coast. I was born in New Hampshire. I went to high school in Georgia, school in Cincinnati. You're an East Coast guy. Okay, Kinda, got it. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's awesome. How did you end up here in, in this theater, roundabout theater kind of way? I auditioned for the tour. I mean, we're touring all over the country this year. So this okay. is our, our fourth city. So we were just in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I auditioned in New York. I've known this production since uh, Alan Cumming in like 99, I saw it yeah. and loved the show. <clears throat> and I did audition for it like not quite a year ago. And, Good for we you. We left on tour a few months ago. I have not seen Cabaret. Uh, Tiffany's probably seen it a bunch of times. I haven't, like, but I know a lot of the music. Okay. Um, what, what's great about this show? Well, the music, of course, is so amazing. I mean, Cabaret, Vilkomen, maybe this time. Uh, everybody knows the music. It's, it's, it's this amazing, uh, fun, sort of challenging, dirty, gritty kind of uh, tunes. And then I think what's um, important about it is that it's about this very difficult time in history in the Weimar era, sort of when in Germany everything was wild and free and people were having fun, but at the same time the Third Reich was coming to power. And the show asks these very significant questions, specifically, you know, how did, how did this happen? And how, how was everybody in Germany sort of implicated in allowing it to happen? Which I think is the question we should consistently ask ourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and at the same time, it has this joyful, incredible music, so it keeps you having fun and engaged and challenged at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've been in some shows with great music, including Wicked, which is yeah. one of the all-time best, you know, right now uh, around the country. But this is a different kind of role. You're not necessarily one of the actors, per se. You're the MC, which mm -hmm. is still an acting role. But how does that differ from other kinds of roles or how you interact with the audience as an MC of That's the show? That's what's amazing. I mean, my scene partner is the audience, yeah. so I don't I don't it's get to. Wall, right? No, <laughs> no, and every theater is different. Mm -hmm. You know the way the audience is lit, how close they are to the stage. But yeah, the, the main difference is that my scene partner is the audience. So my performance completely changes depending on how much I can get the audience involved, how much I can hear them, how much I can see them. Do you get to improv, or is it fully scripted? A lot scripted? of no, a lot of it's improv. Really? Yeah, a lot of it. There's sort of a structure in place, and mm -hmm. you, you end up only improvising so much when you do the same show every night for months and months and months. But there's sort of a bunch of different options that change depending on how the audience is, is participating or not participating. I mean, I go out into the audience and I pull people up on stage. Really? So that's, yeah. That's cool. So that's who different. are you looking for in the audience? <laughs> yeah, you know how what? Do you, yeah, how do you wh wh how do you look in a, a mass of people and you're like, this is it's somebody hard I to tell, and I haven't perfected it yet. I was talking to a friend, and they were like, it's kind of like pick picking like the best pet. <laughs> it's like you want someone. Which one looked at you yeah, the most? You want yeah. someone that's eager but not too eager. Like mm -hmm. if you have a very eager person, it can be hard to get them back off the stage <laughs> after yeah. their moment. That'd be me. Yeah. Yeah. And so go you, away. And sometimes the comedy is better when it's somebody who's like a, doesn't really want to be up there. But yeah. it's, But you want someone who's game at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge. I. I <laughs> and I bet you feel some nights you're like, man, did I pick the right person? Yes. And the yeah. Other nights you're like, what was yeah. I thinking? They could probably make or break that scene too. They can. I mean. I had a woman refu absolutely refuse to dance with me, and I didn't. <laughs> it was terrible. I, she was like, "No, no," and I was like, oh, "I'm just going to stick with her anyway." So I was like, "Well, I'm just going to stand here and sway and talk to you anyway." But it, it's sort yeah, of I felt funny. <laughs> very rejected afterwards. And oh, after yeah. that, after that, I was like, "I'm only going to pick really eager people right now because I can't stand to be I need rejected to heal. again." I need to yes. lick my wounds, heal a little bit. You bring up an interesting point when you said, you know, doing the same show night after night for mm -hmm. months and months and months. And one of the things I always wonder about people in your profession and who do, you know, a, a live shows with lots of energy is how do you bring it mm -hmm. night after night and, and, and sort of make it fresh at the same time? Well, I mean, the audience is, is the biggest gift for me. I mean, because I'm not playing opposite another actor who's doing it as many as often as I am it really is different every night and I think I, I'm finding musicals I've done a lot of plays too and I think musicals are easier I think the music gives you this energy every time you hear that the, the band start to play and you're just 
that shot of adrenaline and you're out there. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's yeah. pretty thrilling. You were also on five seasons of Queer as Folk. I was. A lot of people are probably looking at you being like, gosh, she looks so familiar. Yeah. Well, that's why. So you're on the show Queer as Folk um, for five different seasons. What's the difference for you working um, in front of a camera versus an audience? And do you like one or the other better? Right. You know what, I like, I like both. I find if I do one for too long, then I get sick of it. And I'm like, yeah. I need to get on stage or I need to get in front of a camera. Because there's so much more feedback. Yeah, it's very different. I, I mean, I remember at sort of the end of Five Years of Queer as Folk, I felt really confined. I mean, I was mm -hmm. used to being in a frame. So I was like, I need to move my body. I need to like dance. I need to sing. I need to be. And then, you know, you get exhausted doing theater. And you're like, can I just sit and talk to someone <laughs> and let that be enough? Yeah, um, do you burn a lot of calories? I do. I do. There's you know? a kick line at the beginning of Act Two, yeah. which... I can't believe I'm able to do. Yeah, I do burn a lot of calories. I lost a bunch of weight at the beginning. I which would is good. think. Yeah. I would think that that would happen. That's awesome. You guys are just in town through Sunday. Yeah. So people need to get tickets now. Get tickets now. Come Make plans it. to go um, because it's at the Roundabout Theater Company's Cabaret. Um, that's the theater company. It's at the Marcus Center. You can call the Marcus Center box office at 414 273 7206 now through Sunday only. So get your tickets. You can also go to marcuscenter.org. Sounds like a wonderful. Wonderful production. Thanks for visiting yeah, us today. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.